for the, for the singing of the national anthem. Please remain standing for an opening prayer to be led by the Honorable George Pengua. Saguri ang panlalawigan prayer. Dear Lord, as we deliver it into this session, Give us a facility of language that we may be understood. And finally, our Lord, make us worthy public servants of this province. We deeply love in highly honor the province of Camarinesol, the premier province of Bicol region. Amen. We proceed to the next item. Roll call. Honorable Vice Governor Portonato C. Piña. Honorable Board Member Romulo O. Hernandez. Honorable Board Member Russell N. Bañez. Honorable Board Member Wilfredo Rex C. Oliva. Honorable Board Member Fabio F. Figuracion. Honorable Board Member Emmanuel H. Noble. Honorable Board Member Alexander James D. Haushan. Honorable Board Member Nelson B. Holia. Honorable Board Member Amador L. Simando. Honorable Board Member Helmar S. Pacamara. Honorable Board Member Salvador A. Senior Jr. Honorable Board Member George R. Bingua. Honorable Board Member Nili P. Largo. Present. Your Honor, I hereby certify the existence of a quorum. They're having a quorum. Uh, let us proceed now to the next item. Approval of the journal. <laughs> journal dated August 2, 2017, the 52nd regular session. So uh, may Madam I recognize Chair. our majority floor leader, the Honorable Rex Oliva. Uh, Madam Chair, I move for the approval of our journal dated August 2, 2017, our 52nd regular session. Okay, so it has been moved and duly seconded by Honorable Ben Gua that the agenda for today's session is, here, is hereby approved. Uh, journal. Approval Next. of the agenda, Your Honor, please. I tell Luis R. Villaferte to request financial assistance from the Department of Tourism, DOT, in the amount of 3 million pesos relative to the hosting of the Wakeboard Championship on September 28 to October 1 at the Kamarisur Wake, Wake uh, Water Sports Complex or CWC. I move, Mr. Chairman, for the inclusion of my three resolutions. Is there any second at the motion? So it has been moved. Second. And Julie seconded that the three items, inclusions, be included. Thank you, Madam Chair. Next. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, uh, Majority Floor. Inclusion under business for the day. Resolution uh, authorizing the Honorable Governor Mix Albilaferte to enter into memorandum agreement with the uh,
Department of Social Web and Development for the implementation of their programs and projects in the province of Camarillo Sur. Any seconded the motion? Second. So it has been moved and duly seconded that the inclusions presented by Honorable Butch Figuration be included under business for, business today. for today. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. So next item. Uh, Madam Chair, after accommodating uh, the inclusions made by the three members of uh, the August body, I now move for the approval of the agenda as amended. So it has been moved and duly seconded that the agenda for today's session as amended is hereby approved. Next. Privilege hour, Your Honor. Privilege hour. So may I now request the Honorable Pakamara. Thank you, Madam Chair. Again, good afternoon. Honorable Chairwoman, my dear colleagues, good afternoon. I rise before this August body on a personal privilege. Just recently, Madam Chair, this representation received a referral letter dated September 20, 2017 from the Provincial Secretary to the Committee on Infrastructure to whom I, I am the chairperson forwarding a basic letter dated September 13, 2017 from the Honorable Governor regarding three Sangguniang Panalawigan resolution which uh, were approved uh, August 30, 2017. Resolution number 468, 469, and 470, Series 2017. Firstly, may I be allowed to declare in this August body that this representation is not questioning nor objecting to the basic letter of the Honorable Governor, nor this representation is refusing or avoiding to act on the basic letter of our Honorable Governor in my capacity as Chairperson of the Committee on Infrastructure. While I agree, Madam Chair, that the contents of the three Sangguniang Panlawigan resolutions are matters that could have been studied by the Committee on Infrastructure, I find it unconventional or irregular to put it more appropriately, Ms. Madam Chair, that matters that have already been decided upon by the Sangguniang Panalawigan and Bank, a higher level of a body, be referred thereafter to the Committee on Infrastructure, which is a lower level of body compared to the Sangguniang Panalawigan and Bank, even for a further study. My parliamentary inquiry, Madam Chair, is can a matter that has already been decided upon by the Sangguni and Panalawigan and Bank be referred anew to a lower stand level standing committee for further study? Is this proper or inappropriate, Madam Chair? I don't think all of us here would agree to this parliamentary inquiry of mine. This is because the dignity and the integrity of the Sangguniang Panalawigan and every member thereof is being put on the spot. Now may I repeat, Madam Chair, that this representation is not questioning nor objecting to the basic letter of the Honorable Governor, nor his representation is nor this representation is refusing or avoiding to act on the basic letter of our Governor in my capacity as Chairperson of the Committee on Infrastructure. For the basic letter of the Honorable Governor is no longer the jurisdiction of the Committee on Infrastructure now. There is now a procedural issue or matter posed against us, and this must be resolved by the appropriate Sangguniam Panalawigan Standing Committee. I believe, Madam Chair, that procedural matters within the Sangguniam Panalawigan or matters affecting the rules of the Sangguniam Panalawigan belongs to the jurisdiction of the Committee on Rules, Ethics, and Public Accountability. And the basic letter of the Honorable Governor should have been referred first 
to the Committee on Rules, Ethics, and Public Accountability to tackle and resolve the issue on procedural issue at hand or, matter, or a matter affecting the rules of the Sangguniaan Panlalawigan. This representation in my capacity as Chairperson of the Committee on Infrastructure is more than willing to tackle or to study further matters as per stated in the basic letter of the Honorable Governor relative to the aforesaid three Sangguniaan Panlalawigan resolutions should the Committee on Rules, Ethics, and Public Accountability will have a thorough study and recommendation through a committee report formally submitted and adopted by the Sangguniaan Panlalawigan, affirming to and agreeing favorably with my parliamentary inquiry, as I have mentioned earlier. I therefore, Madam Chair, with due respect, move that the matter or the item referred to this representation in his capacity as chairperson of the Committee on Infrastructure through the letter dated September 20, 2017 from the Provincial Secretary be discharged or taken out from the Committee on Infrastructure and such matter or item be referred now to the Committee on Rules, Ethics and Public Accountability to resolve on a procedural issue or a matter affecting the rules of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan. With this, thank you for, your for the opportunity, Madam Chair and my dear colleagues. Okay, so, is there any discussion, reactions coming from the Honorable Body with regards to the privileged speech tendered by the Honorable Pakamara? Yes, Honorable Rex Oliva. Now, uh, Madam Chair, first, I, uh, move, I am moving for uh, point of order. <laughs> it is uh, stated in our House rules that uh, before a member can uh, deliver a privileged speech, it is a general rule that uh, he should have furnished first. All members of this August body um, uh, with uh, a copy of uh, his or her privileged speech two days before uh, the intended uh, delivery of uh, such uh, speech. So it is uh, provided in our house rules. Sorry. Anyway, the speech have already been delivered and uh, I am moving Mr. Chair, Madam Chair for the suspension of our house rules to uh, deliberate on the privileged speech made by the Honorable Pakamara. Is there any seconded the motion Second. presented by Honorable Rex Oliva? Second. For the susp suspensions of the House rules. Yeah. So, House rules is suspended. Uh, Madam Chair, listening intently to the speech made by uh, the Honorable Pakamara in uh, his availment of uh, the privileged hour, would uh, uh, tell us that uh, he is questioning the referral of uh, the letter of the governor to the Committee on Infrastructure and Public Works where he is the chairperson. Madam Chair, it is uh, in our house rules that all letters and communications that uh, are sent to the Sangguniang Panlalawigan through the Honorable Vice Governor or uh, the Provincial Secretary shall be calendared under items uh, for review under letters uh, and or communications. So, the process, Madam Chair, is uh, to refer the letters to the appropriate uh, committee. The very intent of uh, the letter of the governor is about a resolution that had been passed by uh, this August body in one of our sessions. This is relative to infrastructure projects in uh, the component uh, municipalities of the province. So, studying our house rules will tell us that the appropriate committee which has jurisdiction over the matter 
is the Committee on Infrastructure and Public Works. And may I read, uh, Madam Chair, the our standing committees and uh, its general jurisdiction. Under Rule 7, Standing Committees, Section 13, Number 15 thereof, is the Committee on Infrastructure and Public Works. And it is stated, Mr. Uh, Madam Chair, that said committee has general jurisdiction over all matters relating to planning, construction, maintenance, improvement, and repair of public buildings, highways, bridges, roads, parks, shrines, monuments, drainages, sewerage system, and flood control and protection within the juris territorial jurisdiction of uh, the province. And studying the basic letter of the governor will tell us that the committee which has jurisdiction over said the uh, resolutions passed by this August body will be referred to the appropriate committee and that committee is, that, is the Committee on Infrastructure and Public Works. The Honorable Pakamara is questioning on uh, a legislative matter which had been passed by this August body if it, whose jurisdiction will it be? When it was passed by this August body, forwarded to the governor, the governor returned the same to the uh, Sangguniang Panlalawigan. The Honorable Pakamara is stating that uh, it should be referred to the Committee on Rules, Ethics, and Privileges. May I solicit the attention of the Honorable Pakamara, Madam Chair, on uh, the jurisdiction of the Committee on Rules, Ethics, and Pub Public Accountability, rather. And may I state, under Section 15, Number 24 thereof, under the Committee on Rules, Ethics, and Public Accountability, it has jurisdiction over all matters affecting the rules of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan in its organization, the creation and reorganization of its standing committees, the order and calendar of business, application of parliamentary rules and the legislative process, and enacting ordinances and adoption of resolutions, and all matters relating to investigation of charges or misfeasance, malfeasance, and nonfeasance against provincial officials, safety, dignity, integrity, and reputation. The chairperson of the committee shall be the floor leader of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan. If the Honorable Pakamara Igwa po palang reklamo doon, duman palang sa pag-refer sa committee ba niya in our session, following this session, what if he is questioning any part of our rules, he should have stand up and raised a point of order. So Madam Chair, this representation, being the chairperson of the committee and rules, is a firm on the stand that the proper committee which the basic letter of the governor should have been referred to is the Committee on Infrastructure and Public Works and the referral has not violated any of our house rules. May I, Madam Chair? Yes, Honorable Pakamara. First and foremost, uh, before I delivered my privilege, uh, personal privilege, I asked uh, the approval of the body. And thereafter, I was, uh, I was called to, de deliver, uh, to deliver my privilege uh, speech. On the issue of the letter uh, dated September 13 by the
the Honorable Governor, Madam Chair, if you will look at the read the letter of the Honorable Governor, it states, uh, paragraph one, I would like to question the approval. Huh? The approval. So, regardless of what's inside, ang pinaki-question po, Digdi, si auction mismo kang sanggunian panalawigan. So before this commi the Committee on Infra Act on such uh, issue, ito na po po unang po pinaka primero. And hapot po digdi, ano ta pinag-approve nindo itong... Pinagpasa, picky question. And on the issue na dapat nag-raise po ako, kang tayo na pinag-refer sa sakuya ang, ang resolution, Bayo man ako ng kopya kaya kasi yung resolution right after. Kaya po nga ni, if our uh, assistant secretary would recall, right after kang session, nagdulog ako sa iya, ano po itong pig-refer sa kuya? Pahaga daw kang papel. Kang content, kang, kang pig-refer sa committee ko. Eh, sabi ni, ni ASEC, nasa kay, 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 ano, kay uh, majority leader. So, if you would recall, uh, uh, Duman sa taas, pigkapot ko sa mo ako ayon si, si letter. Ito gusto ko maaraman kung ano yan. So after two, three days, saka ko lang po nahiling por sa baga itong letter na pinagtao kang sekretaryat kung ano itong letter na ito. So dahil po pwede mag-act ang chairman o kaya ang committee on infrastructure sa letter kan sa toya pong governor. Ta, ganun piki question tadig di, si action na ginibo kang sangguni ang panalawigan kang August 30. So, ta, re, re what? Ano? Ang question po, Digdi, I would like to question the approval of the fa following resolution. So, ang question, Digdi, so, action kang, ano? Kang, so, sa inyo na committee dapat magdalagan, pigbasa mo po ba kasi bago under uh, House rule, itong late, ang bilasa mo, resolutions, approval kang resolutions, ordinances, and etc. Mahal po yan sa committee niya. And willing po ang, 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 ang committee on infra, after kang committee on rules, mag-deliver uh, kang sa iyang report. Kung kinakaipuan na mag-take action pa rin ang committee ba? May excuse, ah, you too. So I declared five minutes recess to but discuss then, this but matter. But then, excuse me, Madam Chair, ano po? Kaya nag-deliver po ako ng pre-raise motion. May, may, may motion po ba ako doon na pinag-raise? May we discuss so, this matter? So, bakit po ito muna ang ano anta, ang action anta, ang tawang tanong action, uh, immediate action? Uh, Madam Chair, Yes, Honorable I Adipa. ask for the suspension of our house rules and it was duly approved. Nobody objected. As to my motion to the suspension of our house rules in order for this representation to answer the questions being thrown to the Committee on Rules by the Honorable Pakamara. And may I be allowed, uh, Madam Chair, to answer on the approval of said resolutions. Uh, Madam Chair, yes. although I am not excusing my absence then, because if we will look into the, uh, uh, the attendance of August 30, Yep. session, this representation is on official business. However, I am not making that as an excuse because being the chairperson of the Committee on Rules where the uh, Honorable Pakamara is addressing all his uh, queries, I believe I should answer. But first, may I uh, tell the Honorable Pakamara that during the approval of the two or three resolutions, this representation is not present. Although I am not throwing the blame because I am not blaming anybody as to the approval of the subject resolutions, so I am uh, taking responsibility in answering all the queries being thrown to the Committee on Rules. So, Madam Chair, um, uh, still this... Uh, the present this representation, being the chairperson of the Committee on Rules, is a standing path to uh, the uh, 
referral which uh, I made during our last session that the proper committee which has jurisdiction over the subject matter shall be the Committee on Is Infrastructure and Public Works. Madam Chair. Honorable Pakamara. Likewise, the sample representation is on official business during the approval of the three resolutions. But then, how will the Committee on Infra take action on such refer uh, items? Now, it was approved, decided by the body during the regular session dated August 30. Paano aaprobaran kang o paano hihiring kang kumito infra itong tulong resolution na pinag-question ang aproban kang sanggunian kang kumito ng infra. Paano? Uh, ang pinag-question my dear colleagues, bako man actually Kung ano pa man, kundi ano ta inaprobaran kang sanggunian pananawigan, itong tulong resolution. Dahil yung pwede pong mag-akken ang, ang, ang uh, chairman kong committee on infra, <laughs> Madam Chair. Simple yung pumagaw. I would like to question the approval. Malinawan po maray, pinakapimerong sentence. Paano aprobaran kang, kang, kang committee on infra <laughs> na ang pinag-question ni Giso Act? Naginibo kang sanggol yung panalawigan dated August 30 during the regular session, which both, both of us are on official, were on official uh, business. So, uh, yes, honorable Rex. May we know, uh, Madam Chair, who was the presiding officer then during our August 30 session? Because uh, this representation, including the honorable Pakamara. Uh, we are not present during uh, said session. So may I request our assistant, uh, Provincial Secretary, to please answer the queries by Honorable Rex Oliva. It is the Honorable Vice Governor, Your Honor, the presiding officer on it August It was 30. the Vice Governor, Honorable Ato Peña. So it was the Vice Governor, and uh, I believe nobody, nobody uh, objected to the uh, proposition or on the passage of uh, the three resolutions, I believe. Yes, the Honorable Haushan. I move for a five minute recess, Madam Chair. Okay, so 10 minutes recess is declared. Ending sorrows and privileges.
Proceed. <laughs>